are joining me on replay, welcome. Uh, this is live, so if my friends do jump on, I may be talking to them uh, back and forth a little bit. So just in case you're watching on replay, this was filmed live because this just came. I'm getting ready to go to a party and uh, this showed up, so I thought I would just unbox it live and we could try it out and see how it works. So I'm hoping that this time it showed up unbroken because when I got my um, a Natasha Denona Lila palette, uh, I'm just going to slice this right here. Uh, it showed up in one of the pans was just shattered. Hello to whoever joined. <laughs> I can't tell unless you put a comment. Um, anyway, so I'm hoping this shows up all in one piece. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. So here we go. Uh, it was the same kind of packaging as the Natasha Denona Lila. So I hope this is going to be in one piece. Paper. And my little samples that I got. And oh, what's this? Oh, I had a, a Baby Rouge, you know, those little codes they give you. And so this is the uh, Huge Lashes by Stila that I have not tried yet, so I'm excited to try this. And we will do a full try on of this now because uh, I don't have any eye makeup on yet. So, ooh, very pretty. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. Uh, this is the outer packaging here. And uh, this is uh, 24 one gram pans. Oh, hey, Marianne, how are you? Thanks for joining. I'm gonna put on my makeup with you guys now. <laughs> this will be really fun. I'm dying to see this. The swatches look so amazing that Kat Von D did. And I have to say that her uh, La Vida Loca palette, and uh, that's one of my all time favorite palettes, so I'm really excited about this. I have pretty much most of her palettes that came out since that one. Uh, so here it is, we'll open it up. Wait, I'm gonna open it up flat because the case is broken. I don't want it to get all over me. Okay, half is good. All right, the whole thing is intact. Yay, and we can do swatches too. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting this on, but first I have to put on my eyeshadow primer. And I'm just using the uh, Urban Decay, the regular one that is the um, primer potion. I have the Eden one also. You need this palette? Oh yeah, I'm really excited about it. I've been trying not to buy other stuff on purpose because I really wanted to get this one because it looks so amazing. So I'll like do my makeup and then we'll do swatches. How's that? Oh, and you guys, um, in case you're wondering, I've got this weird little dry patch right here on my eyelid and that's because I stupidly, oh my gosh, so I use a prescription retinol like every night and that's why I don't get my eyebrows waxed uh, anymore unless I stop for a full week before. But I had the waxer out because I was doing like bikini line wax and um, I thought, oh, I had a few little little hairs here and I thought I'll just hit those real quick. Well, stupidly, I mean, I sleep on my side of my face. I don't put retinol on my eyelid, but I guess it mushes over and then I it like got like a little bit messed up from that. So in case you're wondering what that weird texture is on my Eyelid, that's what it is. Um, so I have not really checked this out uh, at all yet other than those swatches. So I'm just gonna wing this and try to do an eye look. So um, I'm gonna start as I usually do. I'm probably going to just use this uh, Amen color that's just kind of a very, kind of eggshell color I would think. So I think that'll look pretty uh, under my brow bone. I usually do that first. Oh wow, that's actually got quite a bit of pigment for a uh, off-white color there. Oh, that's nice. Hey, Cheryl, how you doing? I'm super psyched. This came in the mail right when I'm getting ready for a party. So that's when my hair is all done and all that. So I'm not going to use this for sure. Um, so I just, all I did so far was put this Amen on and thankfully this palette showed up in one piece. Yay, Sephora. Um, now for transition, huh? I'm trying to think of what I should do because I definitely want to use this relic color. Um, somewhere so maybe I'm gonna do like maybe browns and golds with maybe a touch of this stigmata and we'll do that okay so I think I'm gonna just real quickly go in with Sacred Heart right here and wait let me use all these different brush for that where's my oh shoot you know what I meant to bring more brushes in and I didn't oh well here let me clean this one off and we'll go in with the Sacred Heart uh, this one is a shimmer and this looks like we've got uh, the blue Sabbath is black, but there's tiny pieces of shimmer on top, but it looks like it came from ashes next to it. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mattes, it looks like. Um, and then there's the rest are shimmers, and for the real glittery ones, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, what, 
eight, and then, yeah. So nice, nice mix there. It's nice that I've got some mats in here. So we'll go ahead and do this and again. This Luckily my hair will kind of cover this eye tonight. <laughs> I'm at this party because I've got this weird thing going on. It's the worst. I can't believe I did that. I mean, I totally didn't think about it. I was just like, oh, I'll go ahead and do this. Use the wax. So how's everybody's weekend going? We're actually going to have a lot of fun. We're going to a party. Our friend's husband is in a band and they're having a barbecue at their house and then the band is gonna play and there will be dancing. So that should be fun. Haven't done anything like that in a long time. And my husband needs it. He's stressing out. He's got this giant project he's working on for work. And uh, it'd be nice to get out a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna take a smaller brush and I'm going to go, you know what I'm gonna do actually? I'm gonna use my finger because I've got a hooded eye. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. I've got, I do have my foundation and everything on. So I'm hoping there's not a lot of fallout. <laughs> I, I, I want to film a skincare uh, thing. I think what I'm going to do now that I've got Danielle's bathroom, I think I'll film it in there because it's lighter. My bathroom is a little bit darker, so I never really wanted to film in there. I couldn't figure out how to set it up, but I think I'm just going to do it in there and just wing it, and hopefully it works well. Um, and then I'm going to just take this color, the Relic. I'm going to do it on my finger because it looks, oh my God, look at that. What I think would be fun to do too is compare like this gold to the gold in the Natasha Denona because this palette is obviously much less money than that one. Okay, you guys, this is really, really nice. Really, really pretty. Wow. And I'm not using any glitter glue. All I have on is the Urban Decay um, Primer Potion. Yeah, wow, that is really nice. I brought a tiny brush too, because I wanna try to put, um, where did it go? Did somebody, oh, you know what, duh, hold on. They kind of rolled away, okay. I brought this tiny brush, because I think I'm going to try to put this Absolution color. Let me just swatch that once. We'll do swatch swatches later on the inner corner. Ooh, okay, you know what's interesting about that? It looks so white gold. I mean, like, like white, but it's like white gold. It actually has a little bit of a, of a gold in there. This isn't as white as it looks. So I'm going to just take a tiny bit of this. I'm not going to use my finger because my finger is too fat probably to get here in this crease. I'm just going to kind of try to pick this up and dab it in. Okay, that's not working very well. I've got some water here. I'm gonna wet this brush. I guess I should have brought my uh, Prep and Prime, but oh well. Wait, that didn't work very well. Why did you not work very well? Come on, let's see. Oh yeah, there we go, you guys. So definitely, if you want this one to pop in your inner corner, use, use your brush a bit damp. I'm hoping that that'll stay. Oh boy, you guys, I'm getting glitter all over my face. So this might not be the best palette to use when you have already done your base, but I guess I can almost touch that up. Um, I'm going to try with my fat finger to get in there and do this. The two top shades. Oh, the toppers. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Marianne. See, as Jen would say, collective brain, right? Together we know it all. Yeah, I didn't read up on this at all. All I saw was the swatches. Okay, so those are toppers. Ooh, let's see what this looks like. Rapture. Oh my God. the eye look. <laughs> Use tape to get the glitter off. Oh, that's a great idea. Okay, I will do that. I have tape actually right at my vanity um, in my bathroom because, you know, when you want that really sharp line, I used to do that a lot more. Okay, then I'm going to go in then instead with this heaven color. Let's try that one since it's not a topper. Makes sense that the toppers are on top. Oh yeah, that works better. Okay, there we go. I was like, what's going on? Very neat. Okay, ooh, that's pretty. And then, um, so you guys, what, else, what What should I do, do you guys think, for my the rest of my color? Do you think I should go with this Stigmata? Um, that's kind of fun. Um, tonight, I don't know what I'm wearing, so I gotta keep it like not too crazy. I, don't, I, I guess I could go, maybe should I wear black? This looks really neat too, this blue color. Um, hmm, I'm trying to think. Maybe Stigma, okay, I'll do that one. I'm gonna go in there with this brush. Okay. And let's see what that's like. Oh yeah, wow, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Even with my weird eye skin that I've got going right now. Oh yeah, very nice. Oh, and you guys, I brought lashes and everything, so we're gonna do the whole thing today. I've never put on lashes while on camera. So that will be very interesting because 
I don't always get them both on the first try. I mean, it's gotten a lot easier, but still sometimes, and I'm using bigger lashes today. But I find these ones pretty easy to do. Oh, there we go. That's fun. Now I'm gonna just kind of use, I've got this big fluffy, this is like a very bendy kind of ponytail brush. It's really old from Allure Mercier, but I like it because I can kind of lightly, you know, kind of blend things and it doesn't like, I don't move it too much, but it kind of blends it in. I think I need a little something on the outer edge here, I think, for the inner, um, inner corner, outer V, I swear. See what happens when I get some sleep? I think I'm gonna go, maybe I'll go, here, I'll just go back with this. Stay consistent. There we go. That looks pretty good. Cool. Now let's do the other side. The other side will be faster because now I know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I already got that. So we'll go in. I did the relic. Anybody know who's winning the University of Alabama game by any chance? My daughter goes there and uh, we had it on for a while. But then I've been doing paperwork and stuff we were gone so much last month, I'm totally catching up. Oops, I brought my gold over too far. Oh well, I will fix that. I'm going to skip going in with the topper this time and I'll just go straight in with uh, Heaven. See how that works. Nope, let me use the other brush I was using. But where did I put it? You know, I need to get a cup here when I do this. All my brushes are rolling away. <laughs> Let's see, I'll use this guy. This should pick up more. Hmm. Got to do it. Oh, hey, Serena. How you doing? Oh, thanks. You know, I didn't, but I curled it. So it's, it's still long, but it's curled. So it's, yeah, I'm trying to, you know, I curled it ahead of the party because um, my hair sometimes gets too curled when I do it. It falls out pretty fast though. So I wanted it to land kind of where I want it to. Huh. I like it so far. Now that I know that the top two are toppers, thanks to you guys. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm late, but here is Liz coming along beautiful. Hi, Tara, how you doing? Oh, 44 to zero, Alabama. Oh, wow, Ooh, they're killing them. Ooh. My um, my husband, you know, we like football like if we're going to a game or something, but he's never been one to watch it a lot on TV, but he's really trying to watch it now that Danielle's going there because we want to like go to a game and really be into it. So it's really funny. Today he took a picture. He picked up her dog, carried a... Um, a, a picked up the dog, was holding a football, put on his Alabama hat and sent it to Danielle to you know tell her hello. It was really funny. So Serena, you didn't get it? Yeah, I figured this one and that Natasha Denona. Well, I got the Natasha Denona. I wasn't planning it because I was, I got a gift card that I wasn't expecting. Um, so that's why I ended up getting that. Now I'm going in with the Stigmata again. Um, that was really funny. He's a good daddy. She's loving it, but she's looking forward to visiting us in October. Oh, Jen's staying with me, you guys. She's gonna come out for something at some point and hopefully stay with me, so that'll be fun. There's, um, I wonder if she's having a good time at Generation uh, Beauty in New York. Okay, there we go. God, these crumbly things on my eye. I'm gonna have to really keep my hair like this tonight when we're at this party. Oh, and you know what else I brought to show you guys in case you haven't seen them? Um, these little DHC things that are loaded with olive oil. There we go. You go like this and like you can get like any little bits of fallout or anything. I hope so. Yeah, I hope it works out. I hope it works out. We were trying to do a video when she came up for Generation Beauty in San Francisco that time, but um, didn't work out. Although we did that one together. No, no, no. She... It didn't work out in LA, that's it. We did it in San Francisco, but not LA. There. So these are great. And the thing is too, that while they pick it up, they don't leave you oily, like, you know what I mean? It's not like messing up what else I've got going. So like I've got a little much going here, I'll just pick that up. And because they come off like in halves, if you didn't dirty one half, you could just use it like that, leave it in there, and then the next day you have your other half. So I love these. I think it's like $7 or $7.99 for 50 of them. So I love those. Okay, then I'm gonna do a little bit like under my eye. But then, oh, what I'm in love with you guys, have you tried these ColourPop gel eyeliners? I got one in a, uh, whoops, that's the only problem, I kind of fall out. <laughs> in a Ipsy Land bag or something. And I have to tell you, I've been loving it. Um, 
Cheryl, I got those, oh, they are DHC uh, little Q-tips. They're much thinner than a Q-tip, like here's the one I just used. <laughs> um, they're thinner than a Q-tip and they're pre-dipped in olive oil. So if you make a mistake, you can pick it right up with it and um, it will, uh, it will, you know, just pick it up and you don't get like oily residue or anything. So it's not like you're, you know, when you dip in your Q-tip into moisturizer, sometimes you can get too much going on with that. So um, hopefully, you know, you'll find these handy. I love them. I use them all the time because, you know, otherwise you're dipping Q-tips in water and cream and stuff to try to get stuff. I do that and, you know, these are wonderful. So they come like this and there's like, I think these are in tens. There's five packs of these in a box and it's like $7.99. And like I said, I usually use one half one day, one half the other day because the way they open up, there's a perforated line here. Um, DHC on their website. Amazon, I think Derm Store, whoever carries DHC. Um, so, oh, this is the front facing camera, so DHC. Uh, they're a Japanese line and they do a lot of stuff with like olive oil and uh, a lot of natural stuff. I mean, they're not like a total natural line, but they have some things. And these are, are um, all natural. I checked with them. I did a video on them actually. I think I called it something like Japanese Secret or something. <laughs> So this ColourPop liner, you guys, stays on all day. They're like $6. Um, I got that one in a, I think it was a glam bag. Um, but I've really been liking that. And then I'm going to add some, um, where the heck? Oh my God, I cannot find all my brushes. Hang on, i got to stand up for one second to see. Nope. I, I must have left them sitting there. Okay, guys. Um, okay, I'm going to go in with this. I'm going to use this for my tight liner in a minute. But I'm just going to take a little tiny bit of the Stigmata and go like right here a little bit. Oh yeah, see, I think this has leftover tight line on it. I'm not gonna go any further. I don't look good when I have too much um, eyeliner under my eye. I'm sorry, I just missed a comment from somebody. Apologize, it's that I have trouble with liners wearing off very quickly. Yeah, um, under my eye though, this, this one has been lasting super good, six bucks. Oh, and the color this is in, and the reason I use this color, this is a it's like a bronze color here, I'll swatch it for you. This is called, what are you called? Oh shoot, where's the name? Oh, show me. And it's just a, it's like a copper one. Cause for me with too much dark liner, it just doesn't look good. They have all kinds of colors though, but this is the one I got and I love it. I actually reordered it because um, <laughs> I don't want to run out. So this is what I use for my tight liner. This one, I've got, I mean, this is an e.l.f. like $3 small smudge brush. I have like a really skinny little Wayne Goss one. I've got, I mean, there's a lot of ones. Um, Laura Mercy actually makes one. It's like a rectangle uh, that you can just, you know, use under, but mine's been used so much. It's so old. It's like splitting open and I need a new one, but I don't want to spend like $20 or whatever costs on that because I can just use this. So I just dip this in some water and then I make a little paste and I'm going to put like some tattoo liner um, under, I mean, on top of this because I'm going to put on lashes, but uh, I like to put this in because I can really shove it up into my lash line. Oh, thanks, Cheryl. Cheryl said she'll try it. Who can ask for a better recommendation? I've been using this stuff for like 20 years. Not this particular thing of it, obviously. I, I changed this out because it's going to my eye and plus I use them up. But they take about at least a year to go through. Uh, so they last really long. Uh, they're $25. So if you buy them during one of the Sephora sales, you can get them, you know, if it's a 20% off one, you can get them for like $20. So they come in navy and in uh, ebony, if I remember correctly. I think for a while they had a brown, but I don't think last time I purchased it at Sephora, I saw it, but on the Laura Mercier website, you might be able to find more colors. Because I also do have it in a very dark purple color. Um, and uh, I, I don't remember, I think, I think that I got a long time ago at Nordstrom. And I found using water works really well. Apparently, from what I understand, there's like a wax or something in here. So it really stays put very well. So that's, you know, adds so much. Not this actual liner. Oh, we're talking about the palette then. Okay, let's see here. I'm going to just real quickly just do this a little bit on top. And I'm probably going to take tattoo in there. When I'm done because when I put my lashes on they've got a thicker lash band I might need to add to it there god liner makes such a difference doesn't it makes you look less tired I think or makes me look less tired it's the thing I'm noticing about this aging thing you just look more tired <laughs> there we 
go. And if I mess up, I've got my little DHC swabs to help me out. Oh, and those are great for like right in here. Like, do you ever get like liner or something kind of caught on the inner corner of your eye? <laughs> Works great for that. Oh, you guys, I finally tried Lash Princess. I love this stuff. Sabrina, you say you have to use liner too, yeah. Yep. Um, this stuff is really good. This this is a, I like this way better than Lash Paradise. Um, I've been using the Monsieur Big, so since we're here together, let's try them both out. Um, I'll put the um, Lash Princess on my right eye. Let me see, I've got a little mirror here that'll make this easier. I have another mirror further away from me, but this will make it easier to see. Sorry, just like open. Um, all right. So let's try this. I'm really excited with how this works because I've been having trouble finding a drugstore mascara I like. And I think that I really found one now. Oh, Cheryl says it's amazing. She loves it too. Yeah, I, I just cannot even believe how great it is. I mean, look at this. Look at this. And I, oh shoot, I just got some of my hair. Hold on. I've got on one hair. Move hair. Now, do you find, okay, so Sabrina said her. Lash Paradise already dried out, and then something of Better Than Sex. I don't know if she said she liked it better than Better Than Sex or didn't like it better than Better Than Sex. I don't like Lash Paradise as much. I feel like um, I get more oomph out of Better Than Sex, but I like Monsieur Big better than Better Than Sex now. And now I'm liking this as much as Better Than Sex, so I'm not sure. I can't wait to try um, Monsieur Big on the other eye and see what we like better. There we go. But there we go. Look at that. No primer. Ugh. It's awesome. One sec, let's see if I can get this little flake off of my eyelid. Oh, it's peeling, it's terrible. Okay, hair, cover that. I'm so impressed with this mascara. I, so, yay for uh, Essence. So you know you love Better Than Sex, it's your go-to. Yeah, me too, Serena, until I found the Monsieur Big. And the only reason I like this better is that I feel like it went into a little bit of a, um, a more of a tapered point when I put this on versus Better Than Sex. Otherwise, I feel like they're interchangeable. Um, you wish they made it in waterproof? I wonder if they will make Monsieur Big in waterproof. I know that the Better Than Sex is in waterproof, and I find that that works really well. I mean, it works just like Better Than Sex for me. A little drier, though, I think, was the only thing I noticed with that one. I bought it last year, even though we never really went swimming last year. It's funny how once your kids are older, you end up not in pools and stuff as much. But I love going to the beach. I love swimming in the ocean. When we were in Alabama at the coast, we did that a ton like every morning. Oh, you haven't tried that one yet? Yeah, the waterproof is really good. And it, and it really gives you a lot of volume. Now, Monsieur Big. Wow, wait a minute. Is, is Lash Princess gonna be bigger than Monsieur Big? Oh wait, this isn't fair. I kind of dipped in again the second time. I didn't do that with es the Essence one. Wow. You guys, you know what? You might not need to go go get Miss Your Big or Better Than Sex anymore with this Lash Princess. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, okay, I think that there's a little more length with the Lash Princess and there's a little bit more, teensy, but more volume maybe with Miss Your Big, but I like them both. If I didn't have one on, I wouldn't even notice, but we're putting lashes on anyway, so. All right, guys, wish me luck. I have never put on lashes in front of people other than like my husband. Um, I'm gonna be using, these are um, by Pure. These are uh, their Silk uh, Pro Lashes. These are ones I've already used. They're cut already, so what they really look like when they're not cut, this is um, a new pair that I haven't used yet. Um, Sabrina thinks they both look good, yeah. So that's what they look like, but because my eyes are much smaller, I had to chop them, see the difference? <laughs> so I cut them down. So I've worn these before, and um, I find that they work really well. Um, they have a thicker lash band, uh, which to me used to be super, super hard, and still is on certain ones, but I find like these, I don't know, they somehow, they're not so hard for me to put on. Oh, another trick I learned about putting on lashes that I think has helped me a lot, is that uh, some makeup artist was saying that if you put on, like if they're new and you haven't used them before, uh, if you put glue on them and then you let the glue dry and then apply glue again, it gives it even more stick. So I thought that was interesting. So maybe that's why it's always easier to put on your lashes the second time. For me it is. So I'm just using Duo. 
Sabrina said, I just got a pair of those lashes in my boxing charm. I haven't tried them yet, though. Yeah, I like the ones called, these are Diva, and then I like Socialite a lot. Socialite is like just my very favorite one, but I think these are it's Diva. I'm pretty sure they were Diva. Hold on. The name used to be on the box side. And yeah, these are Diva. They're Diva. Oops. Lost the other one. You know what I want to try is those magnetic ones. What do you guys think of that? I'm dying to try those out. I think I need to order those because I think they just look like they're fun. Okay, letting this dry for a minute. Let me open my little mirror that's closer to me. All right, here we go. Let's see if I totally embarrass myself trying to put these on on camera. Let's see. Because I normally am at my other camera, I'm the camera, my other mirror, so I'm not used to doing it this way. See, and then for me, I try not to put them too, there we go, we're working, to put them too far out, because I've got such a hooded eye, I'm trying to add lift, you know what I mean? So I'm putting them, and then guys, I squeeze them <laughs> down with my finger, and I push them kind of up. Let's see, did you work? Are you down? And then I always kind of go and try to make sure they're pushed really on. My sister and I tried the magnetic lashes and she likes them, but a hard time with them. Didn't think they're worth a price. Oh, that's good to know. I guess there's all kinds of brands now. I keep having it show up in my feed, like on Facebook or Instagram or something. All right, one's on. Yay! Let's see, do I have any holes I need to fill in? You know when your liner doesn't line quite up with your lashes? But the other thing I do, I didn't bring it, but if you if you ever like kind of screw it up and like one is falling differently than the other, a lot of times I'll use an eyelash curler and then go in tight and squeeze them together and then you can kind of get it to match the other one or if it's not quite in the position you want. So eyelash curlers are like super helpful in putting on lashes in case you're a lash newbie. Because, uh, I mean, I've been wearing them now for quite a while, but that was one of the things I remember being very helpful to me. And then also kind of doing this before you wear them, even if you've worn them before, just a little warm up, kind of get them bendy, bendy, bendy. Yeah, you can cheat a lot with that eyelash curler. <laughs> or hit a little edge of it, or, you know. Let's see, now where's my lash glue? Here we go. And I'm just using the White Duo Lash Glue. Um, I like that one so far the best. I haven't tried any of the ones by, um, there's one I keep hearing about, the the oh, the lash people that make those goddess ones that like Luster Lux and all those people are always wearing. I just I just haven't branched out yet and tried any because the stuff kind of lasts forever. I have to really watch out. Don't lie it down because it will leak out while you're putting on your eyelashes. Yes, I learned that the hard way. So now we'll just let this dry a little. That's the main thing. Oh, the other thing if you want to know when to use your glue, like like I kind of know about how long it takes now um, for it to kind of dry to get sticky. Put a little dab on your finger and then you can kind of feel when it gets sticky then you'll know when this is kind of sticky and it's not going to slide all over. Now it's harder for me to do my left eye than my right eye so I might have to do this one twice if it ends up all wonky but maybe the force will be with me today. <laughs> It'll work on the first try. So okay this should be good now. I'm just going to put that down and I found tweezers are like so helpful. Let's see. Yeah, let's see, when I've got a thicker band, have you tried the eyelash pincher thingy? Uh, I've, I have this thing that like you can apply with that looks like a, like a tweezer with big flat ends on it. Um, and it's fine, uh, but I kind of like the more pointiness of the tweezer. Cause like right now I can get in there and just like shove it where I need it. <laughs> and then I'm gonna just squish it down a little bit right now here. Be very careful if you do that. Yeah, don't try this at home. Okay, there we go. Oh my God, you guys, I think they both worked. So I'm gonna do my little squeezing. I don't have my eyelash curler, so I'm kinda using my fingers for this. I just kinda squeeze them together. Yeah, they say not to blow on your lashes, but I think that's more because like if you're a makeup artist, that wouldn't be sanitary. I, I'd blow on them too. And then the moment of truth, are they even, right? <laughs> That's the worst. Okay, they look pretty darn even to me, yay. And you know the best thing, you guys? This lash is hiding what is going on with my, my eyelid today here. Hopefully this will just be gone in a couple days. But um, yeah, so I guess this looks kind of like a party look. What do you guys think? Do I need to add anything or change anything? But 
yeah, okay, now we should swatch. I think it's okay. I think I'll just, uh, I'll be going with this. And I don't think, oh, I do need a little liner. Hold on. I got this little mini tattoo liner. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. Whoops, that I dropped. Um, as a 100 point reward, which I thought was great because the little mini is like half of a full size. I should get another one of those if I can. So I'm just gonna go in there and fix this. Oh, Sabrina, thank you. I'm glad you think they look pretty. I'm just gonna real quickly fill in here. Tattoo liner is the best. My big one just dried out, so thank God I got this. I mean, I've got some other ones, but they never seem to work as well. Other than Jessie's Girl. I do love the Jessie's Girl. There we go. Okay, that looks better. I, there's something that was bugging me, and I'm like, okay, that's what it is, the liner. There. Yay. So, now let us swatch a roo away. such a cool palette. I should probably do a comparison though one time to the uh, the uh, Levita Loca in this and maybe, well, because the pastel one's totally different, but Levita Loca has, I think, several, like Amen looks very similar. Um, yeah, a lot of these look kind of similar to that one. All right, so we will start out. We'll start with the toppers. I didn't, should I top this, you guys? Maybe I'll try, maybe I should really quickly just add a little topper. Have you tried the NYX inked liner? It's really good. No, I haven't. There's some NYX stuff I want to try. Um, I just, I, I've been like hooked on their butter liners forever. There, I'm topping. Oh, that kind of blends it nicely, huh? Yeah, and there's a NYX store right by us. There you go, oh, okay. So the toppers just did, made it blend a little bit better, I think. Cool, okay, so we'll swatch the toppers. So that's them on my finger. And, and since we, um, I'm not doing this with my regular camera. I'm not sure how good the quality is. So I don't know if brush swatches would do that. I'll have to try that next one. Oh, Jan recommended it? Oh, okay. I'll have to try that. Yeah, I know she just did. I think she got some stuff from NYX lately, right? Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do um, the Worship and Immaculate and Sabbath. Well, well, I guess we'll just do this side and this side. So I'll do um, Worship, Immaculate, and Chalice. Ooh, chalice is really pretty too. That'd be kind of a neat look to do. So, ooh, wow. These swatch really nicely. Well, and they worked really nicely. I feel like they went on really easily. I didn't have trouble, wipe my hands off here, um, with, with any of these. Okay, Sacred Heart, which is one of the ones I used. Amen, which I used. And Sanctuary, that I didn't use. But see what a really good, you know, off-white that is? That, that's really nice. Can't remember what YouTuber it was, but she did a comparison to a lot of the other shadows with Kat Von D and only found two that matched, maybe three. Can't remember, wasn't very many. Oh, cool, wow, that's neat. Yeah, because I'm only seeing, like, I think, like, three or so that really look like they would be similar. Okay, so um, here we go with Heaven, which I used, Crucifix, and oh my God, look at that cathedral. It's so glittery, wow. Okay. Oh my gosh. The cathedral's insane. Wow. Okay. Let's see. I think I'm going to be going to my other part of my arm now. Wow. Okay. This one down here is a little darker than I thought it would be. But wow, it's pretty. <laughs> my mom the other day watched the cat, the cat, the Natasha Denona Lila, um, live video I did. She watched it afterwards and she was like, oh, you look so funny with all the stripes on your arms. Okay, so here's, but this is a big palette, right? What? Three, six, nine. So 18, 22, 24 colors. Okay, so rosary, baptism. This looks like it has a teeny hint of pink unless it's because it's reflecting from that, but no, it's white. You know, it's just when I'm looking at it in the lights, the red must be bouncing off of it. And then we'll go to um, Sabbath, which is black, black. So there they are. I think you just said, no, you want to get this. I'm sorry if I'm being a bad influence on people. <laughs> so there we go. Oh, man. Yeah, this is very, very, very light. Um, that one didn't swatch super great, but I haven't used it, so I can't say, because, you know, swatching isn't all that it's about. Okay, so now I'm going to go with 
Ashes, Martyr, and Devil. So Ashes, Martyr, and Devil. So now we're into the mustardy kind of look. So there they are. This one didn't swatch the greatest. I wonder if I let's see which finger was that? Okay, that'd be this one. Kind of. Yeah. But the color, I mean, looks really nice. And none of these are crumbly. They're all very, uh, very kind of buttery. All right, now we've got Revelation, which this is a very kind of sparkly, you know, brownie color. Really pretty. Can you guys see that? So now here we go. Revelation, vestment, and ministry. Ooh, I can't wait to try that ministry. <laughs> oh, vestment with ministry. That's super cool. Wow. So you guys, the swatches that Kat Von D did, those were really real. <laughs> this is a great palette. Okay, I mean, as long as the wear time and all that stuff. You know what I mean? I, mean, I, I feel like it's great as a first impression. Okay, now we'll go with Exodus, Exorcism, Relic, and I'm gonna use my pinky for Stigmata. So pretty. Um, hmm, running out of room. What if I do those three here? There we go. So, here's the whole palette on one arm. <laughs> yeah, good. Well then, I'll have to let you guys know, like, just how they wear, but given that it's Kat Von D, I feel like it's probably gonna wear fine. I've never had a problem with any of her palettes. I mean, there might be one color or something that's not as awesome as the other ones, but overall, they, they're they really good. So I think I'm going to you know, go wash my arms off. Love you in the white colors of, the lighter colors to blend out any dark colors that I have put in my eye. It helps you don't want them to be that dark. Oh yeah, that's a good point. That's a really good point. You know what I always do with lipstick is if my lipstick's too dark, I'll take a gold eyeshadow and put it on and then put gloss on top and it totally lightens it up. I do that a lot. So I'm gonna, for this party, and probably more dressed, I think I'm gonna go and like put like the, um, oh, what's that stuff called? Oh, thank you, Cheryl. I'm gonna put the um, Melanie Mills Hollywood stuff in my arms because my tan is almost gone. So I look tanner in my dress. But yeah, that's it. So hope you enjoyed it. It was fun to share it with you guys and I'll hopefully see you soon. Modern Devil, yeah, let's look at those two again. Yeah. Those will be very useful, I think, on a daily basis, these mat these two mats, really nice. Cause you know, I don't know, I usually feel like I can only use like kind of one or two of the POW colors at a time. You know what I mean? I guess here I did three. I did the gold, the silver, and then the uh, stigmata, the reddish. But yeah, I, I think you could wear this a billion ways. And I like that if you took this with you on a trip, what I'm most excited about is that I could go with a totally plain, boring business look, right? Or I could pump it up with one color, or you could go full out glam, with all this glitter. So I think it's very versatile. I find myself usually taking along like a Viseart palette for the, you know, the uh, mattes and I might bring something for pops of color, you know, along. Cause I, most palettes don't have such a good mix cause there's not 24 colors. So I um, have to be very careful with it so it doesn't break though. Oh, but you know what I found you guys in BoxyCharm? Oh, I have a BoxyCharm here actually. I haven't like filmed or anything with it yet, but this foam that comes in the BoxyCharm, watch this. This is like the best thing ever. Um, I carry, um, I, I save these, and then when I, um, I'm gonna carry makeup with me that I have to pack in my suitcase, um, oh, let's look, it's perfect size. If you use two of these, and then, you know, pack it really carefully, you know, maybe in a makeup bag that, you know, you have other flat things on, it works really well. Um, I, all my palettes, knock wood so far, <laughs> have not broken on a trip yet, but I've been, you know, using the foam like this and bubble wrap works, you know, in conjunction with that too, depending what you're, what you're doing. So anyway, have a good rest of your day, everybody. Bye.